Hi, I'm Rob Chani with Old Guy Technology, here today to share an interview I had with Glock Firearms at the January SHOT Show in Las Vegas. Uh, Glock, of course, is always an innovator, always making new things, improving their firearms. They've got some great guns coming out. The new fourth generation will be coming to California at some point. Can't tell you when, but they say they will. So, Anyway, uh, we had a little trouble with the audio on this one. Bear with us. I think you'll find the uh, interview really interesting. Uh, it talks about the guns, about the fourth generation, and many other things that are coming out of Glock. So thank you, Glock, for the interview, and thank you for watching this, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Hi, I'm Rob Charney with Old Guy Tech, I'm here with William Carbichael of Glock, and here we are to talk about the compact Glock today. And William, why don't you tell us a little bit of technology behind it? Well, here we have a Glock 26, Generation 4. Uh -huh. This is our latest version of this gun. Uh, the gun came out originally in 1996, this is the Glock 26, and uh, the Gen 4 has interchangeable back straps that can be put on it now. Oh, okay. So as it comes so out of the box, it has a little bit smaller grip than the original 26. Right. But if you like the grip size of the original 26, you have a choice here to add a panel that will make it that size, or you can go a little larger with a second panel. Okay, great. Gotcha. So then anybody with a bigger hand or a smaller hand will be able to fit real well. That's right. So now this is a polymer frame, right? That, that is correct. Okay. Polymer frame, steel upper. Steel upper. All right. Good. Why don't you show us a little bit about the gun, Bill? I'll, I'll hold that for you. So, what about now? What, uh, what caliber is this one in? It's 26 is a 9mm. Okay. Okay. This is also available as a Model 27, which is a 40 caliber. Okay. Or the Model 43, which is 357 caliber. Gotcha. Yeah. Alright, great. And uh, it utilizes a double uh, recoil spring assembly to help soften the recoil to make it more controllable and easy to handle when you're shooting it. Okay. Uh, the Generation 4 has a larger and reversible magazine release. So if you're a lefty, oh, okay. you can take this catch out and reinstall it. Very nice. So it's right there. It has a more aggressive texture than it's worked in the past. So right. if your palms are sweaty, it's going to stick in there a little better. Okay. Yeah. The guns come with a flat magazine that would hold 10 in this model or 9 in the 40 caliber. And then the upgraded would have a little hooky extension on there. Which right. will also extend the capacity by two rounds in the 9 or the 40. Good. Is this going to be available in California? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, so that's good. Yeah. Yep. All right. And so, and then you've got the, the famous block sighting system. Right. And that, that sliding plane is about what, six, seven inches? Is that approximately. Approximately. Okay. And the barrel is how long on this one? This barrel is three and a half months. Three, 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 three and a half. Now, this is an injection bolted frame. Is that right? Right. So, it, now do you manufacture this? Is this in Austria? Or is this the, here? The Glock 26 uh, is entirely made in Austria. Uh, we are gearing up to manufacture guns in the United States. But, uh, as of now, all the guns that are for sale here in the United States are made in Austria. Yeah. In Austria. That's great. And, uh, so basically, the, the technology behind the gun hasn't really changed much in the last however many years. We've been here, uh, actually, this is our 25th anniversary. Okay. Uh, we're celebrating that. Uh, so we've been here 25 years. And like I said, this gun came about in 96. Okay. So, uh, you know, we've been around here for a while. And, uh, you know, everything's continuing to progress very well. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm a Glock Glock fan myself. I, I carry a 23. Right. So, bro, really love the gun. So, and, and let me ask you a question. What is, is there any real major difference between the version that I have now? Mine goes back a ways. I've owned it for a long time. Model 23. Well, the 23 is still made, uh, but there's also the Gen 4 23, which incorporates uh, your gun with a single recoil spring assembly in it. The new one has the double recoil spring assembly in it, a soft recoil. Uh, in the subcompacts, they always have the double spring assembly. Okay. So it's new for the uh, compacts, like right. the model you have. Right. And then, of course, the model Gen 4 compacts, like yours, has the new textures, the back strap capabilities, the other features I mentioned on this generation of model. Perfect, perfect. Well, I want to thank you, William, for spending a little bit of time with me. You know what? Everybody get out there and look. There's many choices to choose from. William showed us about the block. Thank you very much, and appreciate it. Nice talking to you.